This is um for our corn soup. We grate the um, corn. Or jet for our corn soup. It's a leftover um vegetable stuff. It's why right to use it for the corn soup as a um, additives. All right. These are the asparagus as well. We will put them in our corn soup. Olive oil, garlic spice, and then onions, lots and lots of onions. <laughs> this is why you're full when you eat. <laughs> you're just snacking. Next, we we'll put our um, fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. And then we put our shrimp. Oh, no, 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 no. We put our crochet. Going all over the plate. And then chicken broth. The um, nor cubes gel is was put first before um, water because I want the um, vegetable to sink the flavor. Okay, our asparagus. Just let it simmer. Leave it for a while. Number number. I don't know. Put our prawns. So the prawns will also absorb the flavor of the. Um, Stack gel. And then we'll put a bit of pepper. I'm a freestyle cook, cook, you know? I don't measure um, ingredients because um, I start from the minimum and then I will just adjust for at the end if I will take, if, if it, need, it needs more adjusting, yeah? Pauline will uh, put the um, ingredients on the description after this video okay when you are already been cooking for a long time you don't really measure you just um what do you call this pal we don't and, believe in measurements yeah because it depends on your taste buds we have different taste buds and we, it, it it depends on the taste buds of the people that you are cooking you have to ask them do you want it more salty more salty more more um, spicy because my children doesn't like spicy foods, you know. Actually, I can I like spicy food now. Uh, some of them can't <laughs> like who can't handle spicy food. Trish, put a um, cooking wine. The cooking wine will help the taste of the um, shrimp. It's like malansa. Yeah, the smell, the nice like, oh, aroma. We'll give aroma to the Alright, we'll put our the shrimp, not the grated uh, pork now. Plop. And then just mix it. Corn water. We already put a fish sauce, but um, we will add more salt if it's needed. Let me taste it. Yeah, we need more salt. This soup will be ready in a minute. Yeah, and then you taste it full in. Pepper. A little bit more pepper. Okay, that's what I said. Uh, you, you need to adjust at the end. Because if you put more salt or more pepper, it's hard to, uh, what do you call it, catch up. You can't dilute it. Yeah. Let's cook already. We just add our spring onion. Voila! This is <laughs> Voila! Voila! 
<laughs> Voila! This is our corn soup. Now, we'll go to the next one, our shrimp tempura. We'll prepare our prawns. We slice it in that side. And then, on the front bit, do this slice. Yeah, on the sides. You have to do this both sides, yeah. And then straighten it, you can hear the veins click. That's it. There you go. And your prawn. Same process. There you go. And this is your prawns. We're going to wash it. Salt on the egg. Salt on our butter. And then pepper. Flour. We'll add cold water. That this is non-stick by the way. I'll oh, use the wooden then. It's supposed to be like this. Don't don't mix it too much. It's supposed to be lumpy, you know? Yeah. Don't beat it like <laughs> This is the uh, shrimp that we prepared. I straighten you. Yep. You're dry now, that's better. Supposed to be ground white pepper. You have? Oh no. No, I don't have it anymore. I just have garlic powder. Garlic powder. <laughs> I'm afraid to touch them. Just coat them. Coat them in flour. Egg. Then the butter. And then, gently. And they're golden brown. They're ready. See that color? They're ready. There you go. Flour, egg, on the butter, and then soap. Here. Slowly. And check them. Lemon. And then honey. It's just I don't know why it's <laughs> like this. My daughter's honey is not good. It's supposed to be clear. It's Sainsbury's value clear honey. Parsley. I have prepared a parsley sauce as well, but I just want to show you what are the ingredients. That's it. A bit of olive oil, then sesame oil, garlic powder, pepper, salt. And then basically, it will look like this if you use it. What do you call that? Mortal and pestle? Yeah, it will be like this. Just add it to the avocado. And then add this as well. And then you just mash it. I have a blender if you want to use it. You have a blender? Yeah, it's right behind you. Mm, yeah. It's better that you, you use that blender, you know. We got Paul in here and Jody to uh, give the final verdict on the food that we prepared today. Oh my god. Wow. Is That's it good? So good. Pauline? 
was good. Give us a uh, um, rating, 10 out of 10. What will be? 9.3 out of 10. But a solid 10. Only because when you plate things, mm. it means that it's not as crunchy anymore. <laughs> That's a good point. Because it takes time. Yeah. But if I had this straight away, what do you think? What do you think about the dipping sauce? It's good. It is good. All I've right. been eating this all day. Mm. All right, will you recommend this to your friends? Mm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Subscribe and like this video. Share it with your friends. And your friends' friends. Yeah, share oh. it with everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you for the food. Okay. Bye -bye. Come back soon. <laughs>